installing Laragon on Windows. We're going to go to laragon.org slash download slash index.html. Then we're going to scroll down here. And we're going to go to Laragon full. We're going to press that download button. And this is automatically going to start the download. You'll know this, that it's downloading, because down here in the bottom left, it will say laragonfull.exe. Once done downloading, you can open it. Select your language and then press OK. This will start the Laragon setup wizard. You can choose where to install it. You can say run Laragon when Windows starts. And then it will tell you, hey, your app will get pretty URL app.test. You can always select which text editor will open. Then you can simply click install. Once done installing, it will ask, do you want to restart your computer now or restart it later? I'm going to select later, but you'll probably want to select yes, restart computer now. Next, the Laragon setup wizard will ask you, do you want to finish the setup and exit and then run Laragon? And when you do exit, do you want to just run Laragon or do you want to view the README? When you open up the README, you'll be able to see the MySQL login, the username, the password, and you'll see that the default MySQL username is root, the default password is empty. You'll also see that the virtual machine, or sorry, not the virtual machine, the path to your document root will be Laragon slash www. For more information, you can also visit Laragon.org to see the official docs. After you have restarted your computer, you can go to your bottom left and you can look up Laragon. This will pull up in your start menu. You can double click Laragon and then click start all. When you start all, you'll be able to open up your terminal and you'll be able to simply say mysql-u root dash p for password. When it asks for a password, you won't need any. You're now within the MySQL terminal. You can say show databases. And if you wanted to, you can say create database example. Then if you show databases again, you now have your example database. If you want to exit out of that, you can actually pull up Laragon, hit this web icon, and this will bring you to your index.php. If you want to hit the actual files, you can click that icon. And this will bring you to wherever you installed Laragon. And then you can open with whatever you want. We'll use Notepad for now. And if we want to change Laragon or anything else, we could just say Laragon installation example. Now when we reload our page, we get Laragon installation example. Furthermore, if you want to go and see your database, but you want a user interface for that database, you can go right here and you can select this drop down. You can say that new example database. We're going to open that up. And now we have an interface for interacting with our database.
going back to our terminal, we can check our PHP version, our Node version, our NPM version, and our Composer version, which will just show all the commands for Composer. We already checked that we could log into MySQL. So we also have MySQL. More than that, we can install the Laravel installer globally, which we use in a lot of other tutorials on this channel, Clean Code Studio. It's a composer require global. Composer global require Laravel slash installer. We can copy this path right here. And open up our environment variables. We can say new variable Laravel installer. And we can add in composer slash Ben. We can OK that. Next, we can X out of our terminal and reopen our terminal. Say Laravel new blog. As you can see, the Laravel installer requires PHP 7.3.0 or newer. To install a new version of PHP, we can simply go to this URL, windows.php.net slash download hashtag php-7.4. This will install the zipped package. Once installed, we're going to want to show in folder and move this zipped file into our Laragon bin PHP. After that, we we'll want to extract all. Now we have a PHP 7.2 and a PHP 7.4 version. Finally, we want to open up our Laragon menu or wizard, go to the menu, and select PHP version 7.4. Then we reopen our terminal. We do PHP-V. We now have version 4. So then, if we go to our www directory, remove index.php, and then run Laravel new, and then just like that, we will actually create our Laravel project within our www directory. Once created, we can click this web button again. And we'll be brought to this page with all of our Laravel project files, but we don't get our actual welcome page. To get our welcome page, we can either go to public like that, which will hit our public slash index.php file. Not exactly what we're looking for. To correct this, we can go back to our Laragon menu, and then we can go to the www switch document root, we can say C Laragon www public, or we can simply go down here and click public. 
and public.test will be our new directory. We can also go to like config.test and all these to get all the files in our directory. But public.test is going to be what actually hits our Laravel application rendering an HTML page. A few more things I want to go over with Laragon. Because this is a pretty cool tool. So, so far we've gone over, we can just go and hit web, we can hit our database and open up an actual um, user interface. We can do a whole bunch of stuff with that. We can open our terminal, we can go to our project root. But we also have all of these settings. We can change our ports, uh, we can switch to Nginx, we can set a mail catcher or mail sender. So mail catcher will catch our mail when we actually send mail through our local development or local project. Mail sender is you can actually set an email right here. So example at cleancode.studio. And then da, 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 I'm not going to actually put in my password there. But it will send the email, the test email, the local development email, to your actual email address. Mailcatcher will just output it to a file locally for you to see. So you can catch or test local emails against your actual email or by sending it to a mail catcher. You can also go to your general preferences, say run Laragon when Windows starts up. Um, start automatically, and then you can change your document root, you can change your data um, directory, and you can even change your host name. So if you wanted to, you could change that, and instead of being public.test, you could change it to whatever you would like to change it to. If you ever want to go and see what your virtual tests are, or basically your DNS, you can hit this H right here, and that will pull up all of your, um, basically your testing domains, your local DNS configuration. And you can see that by default, Laragon creates a default domain um, for each one of our root directories. So app directory, bootstrap directory, config directory, database directory, public directory, resources, routes, storage, test, and vendor. If we go to localhost, we'll get the www directory. Most of your configuration options are actually gonna be in this menu though. So right here, you can change just about anything you wanna change. You can go and you can say, okay, switch my document root. I want my document root to be Laragon slash www slash public. So right now, if we go to localhost, we get that, right? But if we open this and we change our document root to public, just like that, Localhost is now our document root. And then public.test does not work anymore, I don't believe. Oh, still does. Okay. So that's changing your public root. So now localhost will hit your public directory. If you want to mess with your php.any settings, you can do that right here. And if you want to change your Apache version, configure SSL, um, check your error logs for Apache and your access logs for Apache. And same thing with all of your MySQL. Now, what's cool with MySQL is you can actually switch and use a different um, version of the user interface for accessing your database. And there's tutorials and stuff on that by clicking through right there. So, I don't believe this will work, but maybe it will. Yeah, see, that won't work by default. All right, so, moving on. You also have your node version, which you can change. And then you have your preferences, which is what we looked at earlier. Uh, you can also 
use these tools. And so you can enable like wildcard DNS, you can add yarn, you can add git, you can add PHP my admin, and so on. You can also add Sublime, Java, Eclipse. Um, you can edit your host's file. You can add Laragon to your path, remove Laragon from your global path. And then you can just set up a whole bunch of things just right through here. And then you can quick add all of these things. And then last but not least, there is also a quick app option. So you can quickly create WordPress, Drupal, Laravel, Symfony, or any other projects. So now that we have PHP 7.4 installed, we can just say new, or let's do, I don't know, forum. And this will automatically create a new Laravel form for you. And you can do this with WordPress or any of those other quick start options. And that was just quick app. And then that's going to be blank, PHP, Symfony, Laravel, Drupal 8. And you can even configure using this. And this will say, okay, where are we pulling in these from? Um, I usually don't use this. And I'm actually pretty new to Laragon, to be honest. I usually don't use this because it's not usually updated. As you can see, this is 2020 right now, July 2020. Laravel is actually on version 7, um, and it tries to install Laravel version 5.6. So it's a little behind. I'm not sure what the other versions of these applications are actually on. It looks like it pulls in latest of WordPress and whatnot, but... Just because Laravel is a little behind, I usually just manually install them. And when you're using Laravel, we install the Laravel installer, making it very easily um, capable of adding new projects that are Laravel, just running Laravel new. So I'm going to exit out of that for now. So guys, that is Laragon in a nutshell on Windows 10. Thanks for watching.